Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and this is part two. Alright Butterflies, this is my self-reflection, um, self-quarantine, social distancing, it's a lot. So whatever you're looking for, this is what this is. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little stir crazy. On my last video, I ended up asking three of my friends and then my three daughters um, to provide me with five words, positive words that they thought of when they thought of me. And then three things that they felt that might be challenges that I needed to work on while I was taking the next week off from work. So, um, I told you guys that I would go ahead and um, list. Um, I won't tell you who said what, but I'll say some of the words. I will tell you one of my daughters is an overachiever. And although I asked for five, she gave me many more. And although she didn't follow directions, I think the mommy in me needed to know that it was more than five so um thank you to her <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you which child uh and even one of my friends was like i had more but that's you're atypical i promise you i gave you the directions i knew you were gonna follow them so you know i wasn't upset about that so let's jump in so some of the words that came up will be duplicates so you know just know that um, I'm going to read them in no particular order, but these are the positives and then I'll go back and read the things that I need to kind of work on. Okay. So the positives are determined, caring, loving, confident, YouTuber, um, let's see, provider, reliable, amazing mom, great listener, great advisor, funny, strong, selfless, caring, helpful, gorgeous, fun to be around, determined, wise, encouraging, independent, supportive, honest, ambitious, hardworking, thorough, creative, compassionate, reliable, brave, generous, and organized. <laughs> All right, so that's, I will tell you guys, that's from my kids. This is from my friends. Positive, compassionate, ambitious, empathetic, frank, in parentheses, tell it like it is, reliable, and awesome kind loving loyal positive and beautiful and lastly loving caring great mother careful i had to get more clarification on that one and, and they did give it to me and an influencer and she was talking about YouTube. Um, all right, so let's start with my friends with the things that I need to work on and then we'll go back to what the girls said. So the my challenges that they see, work harder, uh, being diligent, work harder until the job is done. Uh, finish what you start. Now, I can tell you exactly what she's talking about with this. This doggone wait. <laughs> this doggone wait. Yes, me and this person have gone through hell and high water to get this weight off. And it has been a challenge. So, um, putting Pam first. Get out of the house and do Pam. And maybe meet someone, a man... Get back into church. God blessed you with a beautiful voice. Use it to glorify God and let others hear it. 
I know you have had a bad experience, but now it's time to let it go. Hope this helps. All right. So the next person said, uh, work on letting go when it is, when it's needed and start thinking about Pam. So lastly of my friends, overthinking, which is so true for me, um, trying to read the underlining message. There's not always a hidden message. And then self-sabotage. So, got a little work to do. <laughs> All right, this is from my kids. Temper. I'm a Taurus the bull. Yes. Attitude and tone. Now, could y'all think about me? 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 Yeah, it's me. <laughs> um, the next child says, your approach when trying to be honest needs a little work. Now, I'm being a straight shooter with my kids with my friends, with strangers, with my coworkers. I'm a straight shooter. Um, but maybe, it, uh, you know, and I try to be tactful, but maybe I need to get a little polish on it. So, um, be open to other people's feelings, even if it hurts yours. Yeah, I'm a, I don't, I'm not even sure how to take that. Um, I'm not taking it in a negative way. I don't, I guess she's saying honor somebody else's feelings while I'm still true to mine. So that might take some work. Um, I never impose my feelings on somebody else as far as trying to make you change your mind. I so see, and if you get it, then you do. If you don't, then you don't. Maybe it wasn't the time, was it? Maybe it wasn't meant for you. I don't know, but um, I'll have to dig a little deeper and maybe talk to that particular child about that. And hitting below the belt. Um, I'm an only child that's a tourist, a bull. No excuses. I'm just letting you know, you know, I had to fend for myself. So if you came for me, yeah, I'm going for the jugular. So she's right. She's right. And maybe the jugular is not always, maybe that should be maybe the third resort. Maybe not the first one. So I'll work on that. Um, then lastly, um, this particular daughter said, sometimes we just need an ear for someone to listen, not always the feedback. Now, <laughs> this is true. I have gotten better, and I don't think she gave me credit for me getting better, but it's okay. I have gotten better, but I'm a fixer. I'm a single mom that didn't have anybody else to depend on except for God. Um, and my mom, when she was alive, but for the majority of the time, I've d rode this pony solo, trying to make sure that my kids were taken care of and protected and provided for. And so I didn't have a lot of time to sugarcoat stuff. I just didn't. So if you tell me, if you come to me, um, I'm not saying that I still don't do it, but I don't do it as much. But if you brought something to me, I just assumed you were bringing it to me for me to fix it. And she's saying, no, sometimes I just need to vent. So that duly noted, I'm going to have to work on that. Um, if you're mad at one child, <laughs> don't take it out on the other two. It's not fair. So this probably stemmed from um, probably about, they're 24, 
four, probably about six years ago. Um, maybe longer. Kiana um, had a very hard time. You have to realize that my family is very touchy-touchy, feely-feely. We hug, we kiss, we say I love you before we get off the phone. Even when we're mad, we might mumble, love you, love you too. <laughs> but we still say it. Um, so for a period of time when Kiana had not been correctly diagnosed, she did not like me to touch her. I was her caregiver. And if I stood literally right here and she was right here, she would move, just move. And it would break my heart. It would literally break my heart. If I brushed up against her, she would jump across the room so I wouldn't touch her. Now, you have to realize I had gone through the mental anguish of and the, the overwhelming abuse um, and not physical abuse just the mental abuse um, because I was a caregiver for my mother she had Alzheimer's and um, it could be rough it could be rough um, different diseases, disorders, but similar. The caregiver gets it. So, my childhood mess that I've got to clean up has a lot to do with rejection and abandonment. Um, I can pretty much tell you that 90% of these has something to do with those two words. Rejection and abandonment. When your child rejects you, it's a pain like no other. And I think subconsciously I shut down from all of my kids, so therefore I didn't have to feel that again. Not right. But that's what happened. And I'm not sure we've recovered from it yet. I've gotten better. I've heard her. This is not the first time she said it. And I try my best to work harder on it. But that's, that's why. I'm not blaming Kiana. She was in a space. She was trying to deal um, with medicines that were not working for her. And um, she literally, at that particular time, was walking around like a zombie. So I'm not mad or hurt. As far as she's concerned, I think it was just the actions that hurt me. So we're working on it, you know. We, we'll get back on the right track. So here's her, the last of her things. She's got a couple more. It says, don't be closed off to your children. I know we say and do stupid stuff. And sometimes you feel as though we don't want to be around. But most of the time, shit in our lives are so messed up that sometimes we just need to be alone. Don't take it personally. You're still our favorite mommy. All right, so next to the last, I told you she did not follow directions, but I'm, I needed this. Stop being so defensive and Try to listen to what we are saying and stop thinking that everybody has an ulterior motive. See, that came up multiple times. And I can tell you, abandonment and rejection. Once I do this digging, y'all, I promise you, it's going to keep coming up. Then lastly, do stuff for yourself. Go on dates by yourself. Get a mani petty, have fun and with friends, buy new clothes, have a spa day, enjoy you, and reconnect with who Pam is. Wow. So 
there you have it guys that's part two um in the comments tell me some of the things that you feel like you would hear your friends say that's positive about you and then also down there also tell me what you think they may say some of your challenges are so just hit me with one or two um, I would love to hear from you guys. So I am now getting ready to go do my post-it notes and put them around my desk and put them around my mirror. I was looking at my desk. <laughs> right over here by my desk. So that's where I was looking. So I just wanted you guys to, um, yeah, just do some self-reflecting. Enjoy your, um your family, um, pray a little more, meditate, wash your hands, breathe, breathe, just breathe. We're going to get through this, y'all, I promise you. A peaky promise on Nana's grave. <laughs> We're going to get through this, I promise you. It looks a little scary out there. And I think in some form or fashion, we're all scared. I was looking at one of the newscasters um, that got it. I think he's on CNN. And I could tell by his picture. It was like He was trying to be as encouraging as possible. He had lost 13 pounds in three days. Y'all do not take this lightly. Please do not take this lightly. Just... Stay inside. Just stay inside as much as you can. And sometimes you can't leave. But if you can, just stay inside. Alright, I love you butterflies so much. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Share this with someone if you think it'll benefit them. And until next time, love you butterflies. <laughs>